Hello and welcome to today's at home yoga class. We're going to be doing a very relaxing stretch yoga today, only about 10 minutes long. Today is also day number 12 of our 14 day at home workout challenge. Hopefully you've all been with me. If you've been following along throughout the entire thing, please do leave the comment shred in the comment section below. Today I'm wearing my sky blue set from the Summer My Earth Yoga collection and I'm practicing on my My Earth Yoga cork mat. You can get all of this stuff and more on my website www.myearthyoga.com. Now when you're ready, let's find our way down onto your mat and we're going to get into a relaxing position whether that be legs straight, bent, open, closed and just taking a few breaths to appreciate the fact that you have found yourself on your mat today, preparing yourself for your day, for your practice. And let's start to rotate the ankles, rotate the wrists, bringing some blood flow throughout the body. Deep breath in and let's bring the knees in toward the chest, grabbing onto the shins and pulling toward the chest. And slowly we'll start to massage out the low back, rocking side to side up and down, back and forth, whatever your body needs this morning. Rotating in circles one way and the other way. Bringing the right knee back in toward the chest, extending the left down to the ground. We're going to open up the hips here, dropping the right knee out toward the side, trying to keep it up near the armpit. And if you'd like to deepen this stretch, you can also opt to straighten the leg, holding on to the, either the bottom of the foot or the ankle. Bending the knee and bringing it back to center, we'll now move to the other side, stretching out the right glute. Again, if it's within your practice, straightening that leg and you can reach for the ankle or the foot. And when you're ready, we'll slowly bring both legs back to center, drawing the left knee in as well, and we will move to the other side. Just taking a few moments to massage out the back before we do. And when ready, extending the right leg down toward the ground. Left leg comes in and we'll move to the outside of the body again, keeping that knee tucked as high as possible toward the armpit, holding either the bottom of the foot or the ankle. And if it's within your practice, you can go ahead and stretch to a straight leg all the way out to the left side and hold for a few moments here. Bending the knee and coming back to center, we'll move to the other side, holding on with the right arm and pulling across. Try to keep the left shoulder down on the ground as we extend the left leg out if it's within your practice really stretching out the left glute here. Coming back to center, we're going to find our way up into a seated position. So let's rock back and forth, gaining momentum until you can come all the way up onto your seat bones, finding your way into a cross-legged position for a couple of deep breaths. Here we'll move to stretch out the hip flexors, walk your hands forward to as far as, as comfortable, and just hold here. Be okay with the discomfort for a couple of moments. Mm -hmm. 
slowly walking your hands back up, we're going to switch the positioning of the feet. If you had the left forward, you'll now have the right forward and vice versa. And we'll walk the hands back down. And again, just sit here. Notice any differences with the opposite foot now forward. Beautifully done. And we'll find our way up into a tabletop position. We'll move into some cat and cow. As you press your back up toward the sky, we will inhale cat position. And when you're ready to exhale, down into cow, arching the back, looking up toward the sky, shooting the tailbone up toward the sky, and we'll go through this a couple of times. Curling the toes under, we'll press back into our first downward facing dog, walking the legs, noticing any tension in the backs of the legs and the glutes and the calves and the hamstrings. Moving forward into a high plank, gaze toward the hands and we're going to plant the right leg between the hands, shooting up into a warrior one. Deep breath in and exhale, feeling the stretch in the groin, in the right leg. We're gonna interlace the fingers behind us. And as you bend forward, shooting the hands up toward the sky, finding something stationary, focus on balance, keeping the core tight, grounding through the toes, all five toes on each foot. Coming back to center, arms rise up overhead, taking a deep breath, we'll windmill the right arm down to the inside of the right leg and gaze past the left fingertips. Switching arms, left comes down, right shoots up, and again we will gaze past those right fingertips in this beautiful twist pose. Bring the right arm back down, let's bring the right leg back and we'll move to a chaturanga all the way down, nice and slow, pressing up into an upward facing dog. All very slow movements today, enjoying every single moment. And from here, curl the toes under and press back into another downward facing dog. We'll move on to the other side here. Starting with a high plank, we'll bring the left leg forward between the hands and rise up into a warrior one. Deep breath in, deepen this stretch. Again, acknowledging the discomfort, but choosing to be okay with it at peace. And when you're ready, you're going to bring the hands back, interlace the fingers, and we're going to lunge forward. Tighten the core grounding through the toes. Using the muscles of the low back, we'll come back up. Inhale, hands rise. Exhale, left arm comes to the inside of the left leg, gazing past the right fingertips. bringing the right arm down, left arm comes up into another beautiful twist, looking past the left fingertips. Bringing the left hand back down, we'll shoot the left leg back and move into a chaturanga nice and slow, pressing up into an upward facing dog. Enjoying a few breaths here and we will move into a child's pose. Pressing the knees wide apart to the edges of your mat, feet come together. Pressing the chest down toward the ground, feeling a stretch in the shoulders.
working your way back up into a tabletop position. We're going to take the right arm, shoot it up toward the sky for a thread the needle, coming down in between. And if you'd like, you can bring the left arm up above the head, trying to keep the hips level. You don't want one to move forward, one to move back, parallel with each other, and twisting out that low back. And coming back to neutral, let's move to the other side. Left arm comes up and we'll thread the needle through. And again, if you'd like to raise the right arm up overhead to deepen the stretch, maintaining nice parallel hips to the ground, twisting out that low back, feeling the stretch in the shoulders. Taking a deep breath in, we'll find our way into a seated position. Cross your legs with hands to the third eye, appreciating your practice today. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. From up here